Hi boys and girls, it's Father Dustin at St. George in DeKalb, here with another story time. You remember that the Israelites are getting ready to go into the Promised Land. Do you remember the names we learned for the Promised Land from last week? That's right, sometimes it's called Israel, or Canaan, or Palestine. Those are all the same place. But these Israelites are now going to go live in this new land. But there's already cities and people living there. So let's see what happens. Joshua led his people to the river Jordan, which was all that divided them from the promised land. He sent two men as spies across the river and into the city of Jericho. There they were hidden in a house of a woman called Rahab. The king of Jericho had heard reports that spies were in the city, and he gave orders for every street and every house to be searched. When his officers came to Rahab's door, she, having hidden the two Israelites under some flax on her roof, swore that there was no one inside. The danger over, she said to the men, because I've saved your lives, you must swear by the Lord that no harm will come to any member of my family. We swear, they said, and it was agreed that Rahab should tie a scarlet thread to her window so that the invaders would know not to attack her house. Then Rahab let the spies down by a rope and they escaped into the night. So that's today's story. It's a really short one today. But we see that the Israelites sent spies into the Promised Land to search things out, to see what was going on. And the king of a city called Jericho was not happy about this. But one of the citizens of Jericho, her name was Rahab, hid the spies. She protected them. And in return, when the spies come back with the armies of Israel, they will protect her. She shows us a very important concept. In Greek, we call this concept philoxenia, which means literally love of the stranger. Now, in English, I think we would just say hospitality. Do you know what that word means? That means taking care of someone you don't know, being nice to them. If they come to your house, you might give them something to eat but it means being friendly and very, sometimes we'll say, hospitable to people. Like in church, when we have new people come, we have greeters who welcome the new people in. That's hospitality. And then when we go to coffee hour, we sit with new people and get to know who they are, and we offer them coffee and some snacks. That also is hospitality. So for us as Christians, being welcoming and nice and hospitable to people is who we are. It's who God calls us to be. And in today's story, we see Rahab being hospitable to these two Israelite strangers. And that's the importance of today's story. So let's hear it one more time. Joshua led his people to the river Jordan, which was all that divided them from the promised land. He sent the two men as spies across the river and into the city of Jericho. There they were hidden in the house of a woman called Rahab. The king of Jericho had heard reports that spies were in the city, and he gave orders for every street and every house to be searched. When his officers came to Rahab's door, she, having hidden the two Israelites under some flax on her roof, swore that no one was inside. The danger over, she said to the men, Because I have saved your lives, you must swear by the Lord that no harm will come to any member of my family. We swear, they said, and it was agreed that Rahab should tie a scarlet thread to her window so that the invaders would know not to attack her house. Then Rahab let the spies down by a rope and they escaped into the night. So next week, we'll continue the story and we'll see what happens to the city Jericho. Until then, God bless. <laughs>